Okay, we're going to go over the age of ossifications of the bones of the foot. Now, this is a hard one, and I don't have a very good mnemonic, but it's the best mnemonic that I was taught. I didn't come up with this, um, and I'm going to try and make it work for you. But essentially, the scenario is going to be you're going to be presented with an x-ray of a pediatric foot. You're going to need to age the patient. It's very hard, and this is not a perfect system. It's very rough. You can be within one to two years, so uh, every patient is different, but this will get you close. The, the mnemonic is PM cat colmins, PM cat colmins, okay? And you can remember that by uh, thinking about cats culminating in the night. So PM is for night, cat colmins, okay? Now, you need to remember the mnemonic. You need to remember exactly where this red dotted line is between the CU and the L. Each letter stands for a bone. All the bones to the left of the dashed line are present at birth. They don't really help you. All the ones to the right are most important, and they, they age the patient. So P is for phalanges, M is for metatarsal, CA is for calcaneus, T is for talus, CU is for cuboid, L is for lateral cuneiform, M is for medial cuneiform, I is for intermediate cuneiform, N is for navicular, and S is for sesamoids. So, you remember the mnemonic, you remember where the dashed line is. Now you need to remember four months, one year, two years, three years, ten years. So four, one, two, three, ten. Those are going to give you the ages, okay? So let's try an example. Here's an x-ray. It's a pediatric foot. The midfoot is where we're focusing our attention. You see to the very far right in the midfoot is a large circle with a smaller circle to the left. The larger one is the cuboid. That's present at birth. That doesn't help you. The next bone visible on our LMINS mnemonic is L for lateral cuneiform. So that is there, the lateral cuneiform. So this patient is four months old. Let's try another example. Okay, so we have a patient here with uh, many blobs there in the midfoot. From right to left, we'll start with E, the cuboid, D, the lateral cuneiform, uh, A, the intermediate cuneiform is vaguely there, but it's there, B is the medial cuneiform, and C is the navicular, very tiny. You have to be careful. So we see the navicular. In order from L M I N S, do we see S sesamoids? No, we do not. So this patient is three years old, and that's it. 